Yo, what up everybody, it's your boy, Carver Moses. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do our fourth case of Heritage Baseball. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, let me put this aside. Ooh, J. Mess, that's a good one. Does the Heat game end or this break end first? I'm going to say I finished the break uh, sometime with like five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. All right, there's the list on the screen. Let me get the case out. Excuse me. So should I do like I did yesterday and, you know, double check for short prints and stuff like that? Or should I go and try to do a world record where, you know, the, the world's fastest heritage baseball break? All right. Either way. Good luck, everybody. Take it over here. So, Freak, you're saying do it like I did yesterday, where I was uh, very thorough. All right. Check this uh, box topper, if you will. It's Bellinger of the Dodgers. All right. Let's try to get that fifth one filled after this. Yeah, start picking your teams up now. 20% discount on the remaining Heritage Baseball teams. I was thinking the same, JMS. I don't think they have autographs. Maybe in the 71 cards. But I don't think the box, maybe they do. I don't know. I just, I haven't seen one yet. They do, says Freak. All right, well, time to see one. Who, who's that, TCU? I got a I got an old school Reds player yesterday in uh, case number three for the Reds. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. So I like to pre-sort this thing as I go. makes my life easier and like I did yesterday I will double check the uh, cards to make sure I don't miss any uh, variations and whatnot 
Got a Jorge Soler of the Royals. That's to nine ninety nine. We got a white poo holes for the Angels. That. Uh, those are limited to 50, but they're not actually numbered, which uh, I think is strange. I think that's a base short print. It is the Eloy base short print. That's an action image for Davers of the Red Sox. Action pipe there. I think this is, yep. Relic for Jose Ramirez Indians. A nude photo of Farrah Fawcett. Oh, Lord. That could probably go for some big bucks. <laughs> All right. Get organized here. Uh, we'll be checking the backs, like I said, for the variations. So, here's one that I uh, found. Card numbers 401 to 500 are base short prints. I found the one variation. There's about one variation per box in this stuff. And it was uh, the Davers action for the Red Sox. Now maybe I find another one. I don't know. Let's see. So double checking this stuff, so at least y'all know uh, more or less what you uh, know what you're gonna get. Because the veteran base cards do not ship. Man, I looked down that he had a 12-point lead, and it's been cut to five. Good old Miami Heat basketball.
right, so the base, Sharp Prince, Jimenez, Sale, McCutcheon, Seeger, DeJong, Hendricks, Snell, and Bregman. Uh, matter of fact, while I'm at it, just leave this up here. All right, that was one box down. We'll get we'll, we'll get through this together. We'll get through this together. See what's in the 71 card. We got Julian Javier for the cards in the 71 original card. That this card is literally from 1971. Pretty cool. Yeah, JMS, to, to touch on that, uh, CJ McCollum of the Blazers came out and said on Twitter that, like, oh, you know, until further notice, I won't be signing anything from the fans or whatnot, which is a pretty safe, uh, safe thing to do. That's a very short print, this trout. The game is tied. The Bucks on a 12 0 run. Classic Miami Heat basketball, letting the team get back into it. I'm telling you, man, watching a Heat game is never boring. Not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Freaking major. <laughs> that is the action image for the Reds rookie Aristides Aquino. Right there, action. A little something for the Reds.
Got Jorge Polanco for the Twins. That is to uh, $9.99. All right, Bryce Harper, the Phillies with the relic. Not numbered. This is a short print. Yep. All right. So these are two base short prints I found. Let's check out the back of the rest. There's one. The Heat are shooting a lot of threes. We should try to get uh, Giannis in foul trouble. Excuse me. There's one. All right, so the base short prints in box two. We got Robles, Trout, Stanton, Anderson, Ray, Hoskins, Bueller, and Pollock. Box three. Let's see what the box topper is. It is Willie Mays, Giants. All right.
Make your free throws, Jake Crowder. Sheesh. Wow, missed both free throws. What the hell? Shoot that bam. When, when bam can start shooting that. Little fifteen foot jumper. Ooh. Heat are shooting too many threes, man. We need to get some more looks at the basket. And here we got an action image for Bellinger of the Dodgers. Action image. Speaking of the three, Jay Crowder doing the damn thing. Once we get Tyler Hero back, oh boy. And we got Walker Bueller, the Dodgers, to 999. We have a Blue Jay Auto, Anthony K. The rookie autograph for the Blue Jays. There you go, Robert. That's a good one. Ha, <laughs> see what I did there? I entertained myself. Still pretty good. There you go. With the blue ink on there. Decent. print <clears throat> the heat with a one point lead going into halftime and we were up by as much as 12 at one point so we gotta start the uh, Tightening things up here in the second half. If we can win this game, it'll do uh, wonders for our confidence.
So now that it's halftime, let's see if I can take it up a notch on the speed here. Check for the uh, base sharp prints. It's a close one, uh, freaking nature. There's one. There's another one. Probably, Jameis. And from what you can see in that game, the heat can hang in there. When we're firing on all cylinders, we can beat anybody in the league. We got Titus Jr. These are all the base short prints. Titus Jr., Fletcher, Lindor, Verlander, Newcomb, O'Hearn, Vasquez, and Marte. Box. Yeah, hard to beat anybody when they're making that many threes. But that's what made us really good at the beginning of the season. I mean, the Heat at one point were second in the East. And uh, I think we, we led the league in three-point percentage uh, at one point. Then February came along, and, you know, we kind of stunk up the joint. But if there's any time to get hot, it's now. Right, Mr. Acuna? Are the Braves here with the box topper? So I'm on box four right now, about a third of the way there. What's up, kids? Play. Ripping some heritage. And uh, kind of watching the heat game on the side, the heat in the books. Big game here. What's going on with you kids play? LeBron Tops card, PSA 10 now over 21K. Is that what you're saying? Alright, 
let's see what's in box four. Oh, you meant 2K, gotcha. I'm about to say 21K, that's... That's a brand new car. That is an action image card. Gavin Lux, rookie for the Dodgers. I mean, I don't know how that's an action image, but that's what it says on the back, so. There you go. I don't think they can't, I don't, Crown Royale I think is a fairly new product, but I could be wrong. I don't think rookie LeBron wasn't around when they were doing Crown Royale. But I could be wrong, you know, well, what do I know? I'm just uh, talking schmack. For Elvis Andrus, Rangers. That's a base short print to send a guard. We got Loriano, the A's. That's to 571. And I forgot about that detail, too. LeBron only signs up for deck products. Forgot about that. Check for these uh, big sharp prints. I want to say there's like nine big sharp prints in a box.
right. We're gonna strike the autos. I mean, uh, the base sharpers. Syndergaard, Loriano, Alfaro, Gordon, Gray, Chapman, Calhoun, and Betts. What's that? How many? One, two, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I was about right when I said nine. I was close. Clay Bear of the Yanks. That's an action image for Juan Soto Nationals. The action image variation. Told you I'm pretty good at finding them. The base short prints are a different story. Let me check on that. Let me see. I thought I took that out. I guess not. Nah, nobody's bought into it. And if they did, I'll refund them. But uh, thank you for the heads up. I did just, I literally just took them out the store. Messing up, Uncle Jesse. 
All right, let me let me just check real quick. Make sure nobody uh bought a team. Nope, nobody did. All right, cool. But thank you for the heads up, uh, JMS. I appreciate that. Michael Brantley, Astros, Raj, how are you doing today? How are the kids? How's the wife? Raj, how are you? Hope all is well. Hope uh, hope the kids are feeling better. I know they were uh, a little sick uh, last week. There's one. I'm on box number five. You guys are all coughing. Oh, no. <clears throat> game used. Garbage uh, garbage can relics, James. Game used. Game used. <laughs> uh, I even heard that the, that an NT baseball, they're going to come out with this brand new relic where if you push a button, uh, it'll tell you what the next pitch is. You know, you press the side of the card, and it'll be like fastball. And you press it again. Oh, you know, slider. Raj got that Modelo virus. <laughs> The big short prints we got Verdugo, Brenton, Vogelbach, Martinez, Lemahue, Brantley, Schwarber, and Andrus. Box six.
<laughs> Raj. A little bit of that curry sauce. All right, the box topper. All right, all right not all the Rockies. Mango chili. That sounds really good. JMS, I'm surprised you haven't made an investment in one of them. I feel you, J. Mess. I feel you. I feel you. Box six, I think. We're halfway there, believe it or not. You and me both, Giordano. You and me both. What the heck is that? That no, was just backwards for some reason? Okay. That's a big sharp print. That's an action image. Mookie Betts of the Red Sox. Right there, action image. So far, those have been like the only uh, variations that I've seen are the action. Would like to see a throwback or something. For the Cubs, Anthony Rizzo. <clears throat> I lied. That goes here. 
Maybe that goes there. That's a big short print, the Hero. Be sure prints there. What else? Purple hot box still hasn't come out yet. And we should get at least two more autographs. There's one there. Maybe, Jamie, maybe. Let's see. It's going, Jamie. It's going. Still got uh, six boxes of this to do. Halfway through this case. How's everything with you? think so freak probably <laughs> all right we got a uh, base short prints for Hura, Senzel, Lester, Fried, Meadows, Kepler, Riley, and Chavis on to box seven The Heat with an eight point lead. We gotta keep this up. We gotta hold that lead, build it. Right, let's see what the box topper is. We got Jim Palmer Orioles. With the box topper there. I'm barely at the hour mark. 
I'm making okay time, all things considered. Take a sip of this drink right quick. Ooh, there's the purple hot box. Got a Polanco Twins purple. PR Giants. Jimenez White Sox. Muncie Dodgers. Lindor Indians. Hudson Cardinals. Oh. Rookie Star Blue Jays purple there. Otani Angels. Meadows Rays. Judge Yankees Purple. Corbin Nationals Purple. Anderson Marlins Purple. Let my hue, Yankees purple. That is a short print. Bichet. Actually, it's the action image. I'm sorry. Bichet of the Blue Jays, the rookie card. Action image. Blue Jays doing all right. Cabrera Tigers purple. Bogobog Mariners purple. Senzel Reds. Ooh, old school auto. For the twin and twin twins. There you go, Jamie. Sal Campisi. A little old school mojo. Pretty cool. Uh, Chris Hill, Red Sox purple. It's an old one, but it's yours now, Jamie. The ground Mets. Uh, where am I putting this? Albies Braves. Braun Brewers Glaberry Yankees
Harper Phillies. Santana Rangers. A white Verlander for the Astros. That's number to 71. A purple Cambrell Cubs. Sal swimming with the fishes. Alright, what is that? Another short print. Random. These are rooks. This is like all national World Series stuff. First time seeing the candlestick park cards there. Flashbacks. And let's check the SPs. Ooh, a yellow back. I missed the yellow back. See, the only way to catch these are to look at the back of the card. These are the yellow backs with the French text. As you can see here, that is French. Cool little uh, variation for the A's. That's one. These are not sure. I don't know why they're down there. Four twenty, yeah. All right, base SPs. We got Sano, Renfro, Walker, Bieber, Dahl, Chapman, Gallegos, and Blackman. Ah, uh, yes. And just like that, I got more space. So, let's move these. Nice. All right here. Got a seventy one card here. Goran Dragic with the buzzer beater three. The Heat with an eleven point lead going into the fourth. Oh boy. Okay, let's check the seventy one card. We got a uh, Tommy Boy for the Braves here, Tom Kelly.
got to short print the other one, so. That's a short print too, the Otani. We got a white Mitch Garver for the Twins. That's a silver team name. Yep. Verlander, the Astros. With the silver team name there. Little something. Brandon Lowe of the Rays with an autograph. There you go, Dirk. That's the third autograph. Hopefully we can get one more. Or maybe even more. That would be nice. <laughs> Alright, Vincent. We have Eugenio Suarez of the Reds with the Chrome to 571. Yep. All right. Are any of these? Nope. Let's check these base SPs. The Heat need to stop shooting all those threes and get in the paint, man. Get them in foul trouble. Well, I'm glad I put this aside.
Wow, I was going to say, you better call that foul. Bam at a bio trying to murder two bucks on the, in the paint right there. Got a nine point lead with nine minutes to go. We got to keep that intensity up. Game far from over. Got four boxes left. All right, base SPs. We got Otani, Alonso, Dozier, Segura, Paxton, Sheffield, Osuna, and Castillo. Four boxes left. The box topper. We got Aristides Aquino of the Reds with the box topper. That was a ticky tack foul. But they didn't call a foul on the other end. What the hell? I see another yellow back there. Oh, back to back ticky tack fouls. Yeah, Giannis's feet aren't even set, bro. Wow. And they call that a charge. Okay, buddy. I would have challenged that, but whatever. All right, I did find a yellow back for Trevor Story of the Rock. Coach Poe should call a timeout here. Good timeout. Things are uh, getting a little out of control here. We're not getting any foul calls. They're in the bonus, so we can't foul them or they shoot free throws. It's time to make some uh, late adjustments and uh, bring this thing on home.
Speaking of adjustments, I need to uh, need to get some hits for some people here. Come on, Heritage. I think that's a. It is. That's an action image. It is Otani Angels action image. So there was an action and a yellow back in this box. Not bad. Another auto, Logan Allen, the rookie autograph for the Indians. There you go, Grego. A little something for you right there. So that was a good box. There was an auto in there and two variations. Right. Uh, coming off a timeout, air ball, not good. Come on, Miami. U.S. warns not to use any paper money. Heat with a nine-point lead with six minutes to go. That lead can't be big enough right now.
So far, the only variations that I've missed are the yellow backs. And the only way to catch those are to look at the back of the card. So, pretty proud of myself with that. Heat attack in the basket. That's what I'm talking about. Giordano debating taking that money. No, don't do that. All right, base SP, Soto, Escobar, Villar, Yastrzemski, Giolito, DeGrom, Leclerc, and Davis. Three boxes left. See what the seventy one card is. We got Dick Hall, Orioles original seventy one card. Ooh, got a Bucks player down. That's not good. Never like to see that in a game. <laughs> Jordano. <laughs> <laughs> well, last time I checked, isn't the flu a virus too? Uh... I'm on box number 10 right now. I didn't, I didn't check what? I didn't check anything. No, I did not. That's just, just, just what I thought. I mean, listen, man. The, the Zika virus came around, and that scared everybody. The bird flu came around. That scared everybody. You know what I mean? The, 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 the swine flu came around. That scared everybody. Like, calm down, people. Like, it's, it's just another thing that's coming around.
you know, a couple months from now, we, we won't even be talking about it. So just do what you always do. Wash your hands. Be clean. You know, don't be a lapper and you'll be all right. Causing all this mass hysteria, all this propaganda, all this nonsense. People need to stop being so, so dang gullible. Elvis Andrews Rangers. That's the 571. You know, the coronavirus has been around for a while. But nobody talks about that, you know, like it's a brand new thing. That's a short print. I mean, I'm, you know, don't take it lightly either. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not saying that, but just, you know, don't, don't freaking let it get to you and stress you out, man. Like, just prepare like you do any other flu season. You know, keep that hand sanitizer on deck. Don't shake, you know, people's hands or whatever. You just... Practice some common sense. Damn, I could have thought that was an action, but it's not. All right, we got a Yelich relic for the Brewers. You know, I'm I'm still waiting on a zombie outbreak. You know? I'm I'm ready for that. As long as they're slow zombies, you know, as long as they if it's like the twenty eight days later zombies, it's over for the human race. But you know, as long as it's the slow zombies That'll be kinda cool, I think. And we'll, we'll, we'll go back to being hunter-gatherers. The good old days. The Heat open up a 17-point lead with about three minutes to go. Yeah, this game's still not over. I've seen enough Heat games to know that the game is not over until it's over. Alright, well, I found some base short prints here. Let's see what else I can find. I got two boxes left. Shut up, freak of nature. Shut up. Shut up. You shut up. I, I told you, do not say anything until the game is over. You make another comment on the game, I'm going to ban you. I'm not fucking around. You know Uncle Jesse's superstitious. You know this. Don't, don't pretend like you don't know. Three minutes to go. He got a 14-point lead. This game is not over yet. The game is not over until it's over. I'm trying, Ray. I'm trying, my dude. At least a variation or something, my man.
All right, these are the base SPs I found. We got McNeil, Martinez, Kikuchi, Grandal, Benintendi, Hendricks, Gordon, and Martin. Two boxes left. And just like that, it's an 11 point lead with two minutes to go. And it, it was a 16 point lead. Classic Heat basketball. We got to finish this game out. We got Kevin Collins, the Tiger 71 original card. Decent. All right, lead back up to 15 with a minute and a half to go. It's a 13th point game now. Game is not over. I seen Tracy McGrady put 13 points up in 35 seconds. I've seen some crazy shit in a game. That is probably the dagger right there, that three. 16 point game with under a minute to go. Yep, that's probably the game. All right, freak of nature, I will allow now. I, I I will allow you to make commentary on this game. First things first, we shut down Giannis. We shut that shit down. He's supposed to be the league MVP, and we held him to 13 points. Oh! We held the Bucks to right now under 90 points. We put a beat down on them. We're probably the only team in the NBA to have two wins on the Bucks. We beat them at home and we beat them uh, on the road. Oh, yeah. The Bucks are just going to dribble it out. Good game here. The Heat team are starting to come together. Oh yeah, dude! I'm fucking. I'm. I'm so stoked. This was a huge game, dude. And not for nothing, we dominated the entire. We 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 kept this thing close the entire game. And when we had to make plays, we made plays. I am happy. So happy. Dude, we held Giannis to 13 points. We put a beat down on that Bucks team. You know, I've been saying it all year long, man. The Bucks are not who everyone thinks they are. The Bucks are a little overrated, and I think the Heat showed that today. We got Michael Lorenzo of the Reds with a white variation. Freak of nature. I'm telling you, man, the Heat really can't beat anybody in the league. Dang, Jay Crowder had 18 points, 5 of 9 from 3. Nice. You know, what? the, the difference for the Heat is we're a really deep team, man. We can, we can, li we have literally two teams. Like, I, how do I say this? Our bench, we have... Five players on our bench that could start for any team in the league. So, we can go 10 deep. Ronald Acuna Jr. here with the action image. 
I mean, think about this, Grego. Think about this one. Let me let me lay this one on you. The Bucks have won. No, I'm sorry. The Bucks have lost nine games, right? Two of those games to the Heat. So what do you, what do you think about that one? What do you think about that one? This is true, JMS. This is true. This is true. The Heat are a funny team like that, man. I'm telling you. It's it's I, I don't know what it is, but it's like we, we play we can either play down to our competition or we can play up to our competition. So it's it's a bit of a double edged sword, you know what I mean? We can compete with the best of them, but then we can also have a complete letdown and lose to the worst team in the league. But that you know that makes for exciting basketball, man. The the Heat are a very fun team to watch. If the Heat can get it together, we we can probably make a run to the finals. I, I honestly I, I don't think we can beat the the Lakers or the Clippers. They they just have too much size on us, I think. Uh but you know, we, we can't compete with anybody. Got Goldschmidt of the Cardinals here with the Relic. Yeah, that's the thing with the Heat, though. If, if that three-point ball is falling, we're damn near unbeatable. But if we go cold, you know, that's that's when things start to uh, get a little, a little troubling. But, you know, I, I got to go back and watch this game. But from what I saw, like whenever I would, like, glance over... You know, a lot of movement on the heat, a lot of cutting, you know, making the extra pass, which is what we were doing earlier on in the season. So if we can continue to do that, move the ball, good things will happen. Yep, I mean, the Bucks have size, but they're slow. They got the Lopez Twin Towers down there, but those boys are slow. Whereas, you know, the Lakers have Anthony Davis. That dude runs like a gazelle. You know, Dwight Howard is also pretty light on his feet. He can run the floor pretty well, too. Uh, JaVale McGee can also run the floor. So, you know, that that's what the Lakers have in their favor. They have athletic bigs. But yeah, man. Jay Massive, you know, the, the Heat'll do that to you, man. You gotta give credit where it's due. I mean, I, I gotta rewatch the game, but from what I saw, the Heat were just into it from the beginning. You know, we were defending pretty well. We shut down. Dude, Giannis only had 13 points. Like, let me repeat that. Giannis, arguably the best player in the league, had 13. 13! That's ridiculous. They only scored 89 points. You gotta give credit to that Heat defense. I mean, obviously, if you know, if the if the Bucks three point shots were going down, it'd be a different game. But you know, that's that's why you play the game. Play the Eastern playoffs are going to be interesting because you know, with the exception of maybe the Celtics, the Raptors. Bucks in the Heat and the Sixers, like like honestly, like any of those teams could really go on a run and surprise some people. You know, the the East is kind of wide open in the uh, in the top five or six seeds. In the West, not so much. The West is more so the uh, top three or four teams. All right.
SPs, we got Acuna, Marquez, Darvish, Rosario, Torres, Bell, Duplantier, and Hayward. And, and we beat him without Tyler Hero, you know. And I know he's only a rookie, but that dude gives us big minutes, man. You know, before he went out with an injury, that kid was averaging like 15 points a game. Giving us really good minutes off that bench. So it's going to be interesting what that heat rotation is going to look like when Hero and Leonard come back. All right. Last box mojo. We got Davers of the Red Sox with the box topper. Last box mojo. Oh, that's how much he was averaging? 13.4? Tyler Hero? Not bad for a 19-year-old. Who I think is 20 now. I, mean, I think his birthday was uh, not too long ago. When Gianna signs with the Heat in a couple seasons, this is the game we're going to look back on and be like, yep, that's why Gianna's decided to go with the Heat. And I, dude, I, I would play Giannis at the at the four or even at the five. The Heat starting lineup could be Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, and Giannis. Ooh, that would be such a sick lineup. Well, JMS, that's, you know, that's the difference between the East and the West, man. It's been that way, you know, going back to the 70s. The West, they play a more up and down, fast tempo, high scoring game. Whereas the East is more of a defensive uh, conference. It's always been like that. You know, if you watched basketball for more than, you know, 15 games, you would know that. But, uh, yeah. And we got that uh, we got that Zion kid coming in on Friday. We gotta shut that shit down. I don't think so though. I think I think he'll put up a career high against us. I think he might go for fifty, honestly. Nah, dude. I, I, I don't see anybody physically standing up to Zion. I, I really don't. E e including Bam Adebayo. I, I love Bam Bam. But, man, that, that Zion kid is a freak of nature, man. We got a Vladdy here. The action image. Man, Blue Jays had a really good break. Not for nothing. Got an auto. A few uh, variations. Not bad. I can't wait to watch Sports Center now. And see uh see what they talk about the the Heat Bucks game. Got Chris Paddock of the Padres to nine nine nine. Gonna be a big game, JMS. Gonna be a big game on Friday. 
You know, the Pelicans team, in incredibly talented. Going to be a big game for us. For both teams, really. Pelicans trying to get into the playoffs. The Heat trying to move up in the standings. It's going to be a competitive playoff-like atmosphere. Kind of like today against the Bucks. That that was a very defensive game. You know, had had a had the feel of a of a playoff game. All right, this is the last box. Hallelujah. Oh, that's probably the nicest relic I've seen so far. Aaron Nola, Phillies with the stripe relic. Memphis beat Atlanta by 37. Oh, my goodness. How many points did John Moran have? 50? Hawks are, are a disappointment. Man. I, I really thought they were going to make the playoffs this year. They have so much talent on that team. They're just incredibly young. All right. Well, that does it for the break. We got a couple things to take care of here as far as randoms are concerned. So uh, bear with me. Still need to check. Morant only had 13 points and they won by 37. Wow. I wonder who went off for them. Maybe Jaron Jackson? Triple Triple J? And that Brandon Clark kick they got out there too. That kid's a beast, but he's hurt, if I'm not mistaken. Grizz had nine players in double figures. I wonder if Justice Winslow uh, is playing for him. He he could definitely help them out on the defensive end, and he could and he can uh, handle the rock. Zion Rookie of the Year. I mean, listen, I mean, the, the way it's looking right now, if Zion can continue to put up those crazy numbers that he's putting, he might win Rookie of the Year. I, I don't, it's it's crazy. But I, I feel like there should be a, like, they should, they, there should be a rule. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to play at least... Like 50 or 60 games or something to qualify for any award. You know, not just Rookie of the Year, but Defensive Player of the Year or MVP or, you know, whatever. Uh, not yet, Greg, but they, they are going to work him out. They're going to work him and J.R. Smith out uh, with the Lakers there. But, you know, if what's best for the league would be for Zion to win Rookie of the Year. But, so here's the thing. Let's say Zion's Pelicans don't make the playoffs and he wins Rookie of the Year. And John ja Moran just goes nuts in the first round. Or maybe even stuns the Lakers and knocks them out in the first round. It's possible. It can happen. Then what are you going to do? I don't know. Either way, the league's in good hands in the, moving forward. Lots of good uh, players in the league now. All right, so we got uh, Dwight, Smith, uh, Dwight Smith Jr., Julio Urias, Aaron Hicks, uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Bryce Harper, Piscotti, Olsen, and Lorenzo Keane. 
the Knicks came out of nowhere and got Rookie of the Year. I can't remember the last time the Knicks had a Rookie of the Year. <laughs> Patrick Ewing, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, all right. We got a couple things I need to random. Uh, let's start with these. So, if they have a team like this one, that's Reds, Pirates, Twins, A's, Braves, Red Sox, Cardinals, that's a Red Sox, a Med, a Red Sox, a Pirate, Twins, Twins, Mets, Pirates, Braves, Red Sox, Cardinals, Dodgers, Orioles, Cardinals, and Twins. So all those have a team. So these flashback cards will go to their team. Uh, these that do not have a team need to be randomed. So let's roll the die. Three times, whatever. Let's do that. So randoms on the screen. Just going to grab all the teams, copy, paste it. Going three times, the top team gets the flashback cards. One. Two and three. So the Tigers will get the flashback cards. Let me write that down. Boom. And we have these then and now cards. If I have multiples, I'll give one to each. Uh, otherwise, they do need a team. So for this one... I don't need a random. I'll just roll a different die. A six-sided die. If I get an even, uh, an odd number, left side team. Even number, right side team. So odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Odd number three. So uh, this will be Orioles, for example. Orioles, A's, A's, Cardinals, Cubs, so on and so forth. But like I said, if I have doubles, I'll give one to each. And then the odd card out will go to the left side team. All right, next up. Well, what do I got at random? Ah, oh, yes, finally, these bad boys. So I have one with three, I have one with two, and I have one with four. Perfect. So I got a bunch of these. I have cards with two teams on them. I have cards with three, and I have cards with four. Let's start with these because these are the easiest to random. So if I get an odd number, top team, even, bottom. So odd top, even bottom, odd top, even bottom. Even bottom. So this one, for example, will go to the Giants. Same thing as the other ones, though. If I have doubles, I have no problem giving one to each. Uh, but the odd card will go to the bottom uh, team. Uh, now the one with three teams, this is when things get a little interesting here. Jeremy Lin didn't win Rookie of the Year, though. At least I don't think he did. All right, so for this one with three teams here on the side, uh, I put numbers. So one, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Put it in the random. One, two, three. Let's go three times with the dice we rolled earlier. One, two, and three. So the number three wins, which means the uh, bottom right team will get this card. For example, the Dodgers. But like I said, if I have multiples, I'll give one to each. Otherwise, it'll go to the bottom right team. And last but not least, we got this one. With uh, I assigned numbers for this one too. So, top team will be one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Uh, put the randomizer back up. This will be the last random I have to do. So I got one, two, three, and four. Going three times. Here we go. One, two, and three the number three wins again which in this case is the bottom middle team so 
Same like I said before, if I have duplicates, I'll give one to each team. Otherwise, uh, this one, for example, would be Cardinals, the bottom middle team. All right, so let's uh, well let's go ahead and do our recap. So our action cards, well we got a few action image. We got Vladdy, Acuna, Otani. Uh, this is a yellow bag for Story. The silver name for the Astros Verlander. Uh, another yellow bag for the A's Chris Bassett. Uh, Bichet action, Betts action, Soto action, Lux action, Bellinger action. A Kino action and a Davers action. Relics. We got Nola Phillies, Goldschmidt Cardinals, Yellish Brewers, Rizzo Cubs, Brantley Astros, Andrews Rangers, Harper Phillies, and Ramirez Indians. And our autos. We actually got four autos in this case. We got Logan Allen Indians. Brandon Low Rays, Sal Campisi for the Twins, and an Anthony K for the Blue Jays. And that was the filler, my friends. Thank you very much. We'll get it up.